In this video, I'm going to share with you 10 indispensable pieces of gear that are crucial for capturing amazing motorsport photos. The art of motorsport photography has a lot of unique challenges, which is why having the right gear is paramount. High speed action, varying light conditions, and often being situated at a distance from the car require specific equipment to capture crisp, well-lit, dynamic images. So without further ado, let's dive into the top 10 pieces of gear that every motorsport photographer should have in their arsenal. Number one, mirrorless or DSLR camera. In order to capture stunning images, you must have a DSLR or mirrorless camera with a fast shutter speed. An iPhone just isn't gonna cut it. My cameras of choice are the Fuji X-H2 and the Fuji X-T4. And that's all I need to say about that. Number two, lenses. You also need to invest in some high quality lenses. The right lenses will ensure you're able to get clear images no matter how fast or how far away the car is. These often have fast autofocusing capabilities, which allow you to track and focus on the vehicles quickly and accurately, even when they're moving at high speeds. Wide angle lenses are great for capturing shots of multiple cars in one frame, while telephoto lenses are great for capturing details such as speed and movement. That's why you want a versatile lens that can zoom in and out, which is crucial for capturing various speeds and lines taken by drivers. You want to get a telephoto lens with a minimum focal length of at least 300 millimeters. My personal lens of choice is the Fuji 70 to 300 millimeter. I'd also recommend having a wide angle lens handy as there's times when you're going to want to film the entire track and get some nice panoramic views or get multiple cars in one shot. Number three, tripod and or monopod. To ensure stability during panning shots, it's crucial to have a reliable support system for your camera, such as a monopod or tripod. Keep in mind that a lot of racetracks don't allow tripods near the barriers, making a monopod a convenient alternative option. The stand that I like to use is made by Monfronto. It's a two for one in the sense that it can be a tripod or I can take one of the legs off and turn it into a monopod. Number four, lens filters. Lens filters are another valuable tool that can help you deal with the different lighting conditions. UV filters not only minimize haze from the sunlight, but they also protect your lens against dust. In situations where it's really sunny and you wanna still have a nice shallow depth of field, meaning that you're gonna have a wide aperture, you're gonna need an ND filter or a neutral density filter. What this does is just minimizes the amount of light coming into the lens, like a pair of sunglasses. CPL filters or circular polarizing lens are really great for eliminating reflections and enhancing the overall image. Number five, memory cards. Having extra SD cards or memory cards is absolutely critical. Even with large capacity cards, you can easily run out of space quickly, especially if you're shooting in RAW or burst mode. Having extra cards also helps you organize your photos better. For example, I have one set of cards that are just for my Fuji X-H2 and another set just for my Fuji X-T4. Number six, camera straps. Having the right camera strap will help you to quickly and easily move between positions without having to juggle your camera. The camera strap that I really like to use is made by Peak Design, and it's really nice because it's easy to adjust, it's really strong, and you feel that your camera is secure. Number seven, a computer. As you're gonna be taking thousands of photographs, it's really important to be able to organize your photos on site. So having a laptop equipped with Adobe Lightroom is a really good option. Number eight, external hard drive. When it comes to selecting an external hard drive for storing your photos, it's essential to consider factors such as speed, capacity, and durability. The Lacey Rugged Mini is a really good one that I recommend using as it offers high-speed USB 3.0 and Thunderbolt interfaces for fast data transfer. Number nine, camera bag. When selecting the appropriate camera bag, there are multiple factors to consider. The size of the camera and the number of lenses you typically carry will dictate the dimensions of the bag. Look for a bag that has padded compartments to protect your gear from shocks and jostles. It's also worth considering how you'll be carrying your bag. Shoulder bags offer quick access to your gear, while backpacks distribute weight more evenly, making them work better for longer photo shoots. Number 10, extra accessories. Your camera bag should also include other accessories, such as lens wipes for cleaning dust and dirt, extra batteries and chargers to charge those batteries, extra tools that can help you fix something in a bind, earplugs, a wide brim hat, and last but not least, sunscreen. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button and also hit the subscribe button so you can be the first to receive real life actionable tips on how to improve your videography and photography skills. My name is Andrew Cooper at andrewcoopervideo.com. I'll see you next time. Take care.